Now here is an update on the Grom build uh, for Wheels and Waves. Uh, I'm slightly up against it, to say the least. Um, the original completion date uh, was today. Now, as you can see, uh, I've got half a bike. Um, there's no swinging arm in, uh, no wheel, uh, no bodywork, no seat. Um, and you think, oh, I'm in big trouble. Well, I'm not really, because although this bike looks like half a bike, if that, um, everything is being done and it's very nearly ready. Uh, today is Thursday. On Sunday, I'm going to harness to collect the finished paint. Uh, I've seen it. It's just a case of sort of letting it dry and vent and uh, he's got to polish it as well. Um, and then I've got to leave it a couple of days before I move it. I always do that. So hopefully there's less chance of me marking it. So look, I get the paint on Sunday. I get the seat on Sunday and I've seen photos of both of those. They are gorgeous. This bike I think is going to be spectacular. Uh, Jay up the way is painting the swinging armour and all the gloss black bits like fairing mounts. Uh, what else has he got? Uh, he's got, uh, we've made a nice racing triangular stand. We've removed the actual side stand off the bike and he's got a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, so that's going on. Um, I've got to rattle can just the gear change linkage and the gear pedal in satin black. That's why Jay's not doing them. So although you look at this and think, Skid, you are in big trouble. Uh, I don't really feel I am. I phoned Honda to let them know the situation and I said it's going to be a week-ish late. Is that all right? And they were fine. They said, yeah, that's fine. You've still got a bit of time before it's got to go to France. So here it is. Uh, I've done all the handlebar and switch gear. I had a change. I had some black flat drags, um, which looked uber cool. Uh, but the one problem is it really restricted the lock with the tank. So I've gone for some slight risers and also I like the silver offset with the black switch gear. I've done the Tomaselli grips, they're lovely. I've got some nice stubby racing brake levers. I've done all the routing of the cables. It's all connected up. So really to finish it, it's bolt on the bodywork, click on the seat, put the swinging arm in and the nitrous bottle uh, and we're kind of there. So with a tailwind, I think we will be all right. Today is a highly exciting day for me, uh, and I don't often get that excited, as various people will tell you. One, I've got a cup of tea on, which Harry has kindly made for me, and two, I was out till late yesterday uh, running around collecting bits for the Grom. Now, first I went to Ed's and collected the seat, uh, but I've had to, regrettably, well, not regrettably, uh, but I've had to give it to uh, Matt because he's going to paint splashes on it to go with the paintwork that's on the tank and the rest of the bike. So I haven't actually got the seat, um, but I have, and feast your eyes, I have the paintwork from Arnie. Uh, now he has done an absolute belter. Um, uh, Matt was at the workshop cutting out the stencils for him for all these splashes. Uh, I mean, and just look at Arnie's work. There's shadows in it, there's highlights, there's an incredible amount of detail in it. Uh, here's the side panels. Um, those look lovely. I just love the, if you look at the shadow around all the splashes uh, and the dark lines, I think it looks beautiful. In places, it looks an inch thick, which is exactly what we wanted. So it's got the effect of the paint having run because the Grom is so damn fast. And uh, from there, just from there, Harry, just for this, look at that paintwork on the tank. And I can tell you, this is absolutely to Matt's brief. So uh, I'm over the moon. I, being old fashioned, uh, wouldn't have gone for pastel colors. But now I see it, um, I think it looks fantastic. And I've just got a sneaking suspicion that with the black, the satin black wheels and the black frame, this is going to look uber cool. I'm hoping it looks like it's doing 120 miles an hour stood still. So what are we going to do now? Well, obviously, uh, we're going to fit all this to the bike. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, the main thing with this is I'm terrified of scratching it because if I do, look, this bike's already five days late. Um, the seat's going to be another couple of days and I've still got a bit of fettling uh, to do to the bike with Jordan. Uh, we've got to put the oil lines on, the turbo's on, the nitrous bottle is on. Uh, oh, and that's the other thing, the nitrous bottle isn't here. Now, the reason for that, uh, it's not in this setup here, it's actually on the bike. And 
I don't know if you can notice on camera, but this floor is sloping. And that bottle took a tumbler on as it rolled off the bench when Matt was there, um, uh, doing the, going through the design for the paintwork uh, with Arnie. He had the base colours on and they were going to do the stencils for the detailing and it rolled off the bench and hit the floor. So because this floor's sloping, just for the night, I thought I'd prop it in the holder, then it can't go anywhere. So look, when we turn around and look at the bike, that's already on the bike. But come and feast your eyes uh, at what else I've been doing to the chassis and cycle parts. Now, as you can see, uh, the nitrous bottle is on. Uh, it's plumbed in this end. When Jordan gets down, we'll plumb in the other end. Um, so obviously it's the same colours as the rest of the bike. Uh, same gig, this runny paint effect. Look, with splashes that he's painted in. Uh, it's got hold on written on the top of it, because hopefully, yeah, we'll have to hang on if this goes anything like we're hoping. Um, the swinging arm is now painted and in. Uh, and also Jordan's added a brace. We thought it just looked a little bit spindly and the amount of power hopefully this will create. Um, we think that's absolutely necessary. That's not a styling thing, um, but it has caused us one issue. Uh, another thing we're doing this evening is uh, we need a chain tensioner because I think that chain might foul this lower run on the other side. So Jordan's bringing um, a chain tensioner and guide uh, to go on there. Uh, but I think now that's gloss black. Uh, what the difference is, is when it's painted, suddenly a bike comes alive. It's the detail. Um, now you see all the silver, you know, the bolts, the adjusters, the footrests, they stand out. When that was just a sort of bit of a manky sort of brush steel with no paint where it's all been modded and you could see all the welds, uh, it doesn't look like it looks now. So I'm really happy with that. Um, uh, I've also uh, made an exhaust mounting bracket here. I've polished all the pipe work for the turbo um, because uh, especially the inlet one uh, that would be difficult to polish with the bodywork on so I've done that to get that out of the way um, and then I moved on to the controls. Right so the controls um, actually they take a bit longer than, than you think. You think how long is it going to take to bolt on a set of handlebars, fit some grips, some switch gear and some levers. Well because of the way I've done it, it got a little bit involved. Uh, you've got to drill uh, holes in the handlebars for the switch gear pegs to stop it rotating um, and getting them in exactly the right place. So this is at the right angle on the bar and the right distance in. Uh, that's not as easy as it sounds. Everyone thinks that's 30 seconds. It isn't. By the time you've measured it and checked it and double checked it and got it, you actually bolted it on there. Uh, that takes a little while. And the other thing is, I always love these Tomaselli racing grips with this rubber band here for your hand to go in, uh, which are like racing, and this is a race drag bike. Um, and also they've got the solid ends, which I like. No bar end plugs in this. You don't need to worry about a bit of vibration in the bars in this. This is for going and for hanging on to. So it's got those grips, which I love. They look purposeful, they're simple, um, and I like those. Uh, and I've got some stubby uh, little levers uh, with adjusters for the span on, so they're functional and they look lovely. Uh, so that's great. And then you've got to adjust up all the cables and fit them. So that isn't, you look at handlebars, you think that's a 10 minute job. I kid you not, but I had to linish all the lumps off the twist grip, otherwise you see them through this one. Um, so I reckon that took me at least a morning to get these on and get them fitted so I'm happy and get everything adjusted. Now at this point, I'm going to get my comeuppance. I took this thing apart so quickly uh, and also Jordan was with me and we just kind of ripped it apart. I did luckily take one or two, and I mean one or two photos, um, but uh, this is my issue. I've got all the bits in bags, uh, but it's not that good because I've got Mug guard and tank left hand side, so that'll be for the front mug guard and the tank on the left hand side. Uh, and I've got mug guard and tank right hand side, so that's fairly cool. I'm sure I can work out where those go, but I've also got tailpiece and tank here. So I've got three bags of fixings, and I don't exactly know which ones went where. So this now, I've got my comeuppance, it's going to take me three times longer than it should because I'm going to have to fiddle and check all the bolts. Uh, I've got the right one in the right place. So serves me right, lesson learned. 
Uh, now, I think the most difficult bit of putting this bodywork on is the tank because of the number of fixings. Uh, and also, if you drop one and you've got the front mug guard on, you could, it's very unlikely, but you could chip the paint in it. So I kind of start at the top and work my way down. And also, once this is on, I don't think the rest of it's bad. The fairing, well, they're my mounts that I made uh, and I know exactly how it goes and it's only four bolts. I mean, you can't really get that wrong. Um, so first off, I'm going to do the tank and I think from memory, it all suspends from this center panel, uh, which goes on here. Right, that's the nitrous bottle fitted. I've bolted that on properly now. Uh, and that's the first top of the tank panel in. That's only taken me half an hour. It should take two minutes, but it was fiddly uh, and also working out where the bolts go. So let's roll on next panel. Now that's the tank completed. I think it looks fantastic. I mean, Arnie has done an absolute belter. Check that out. The next piece of the jigsaw is the fairing. I just love this. I mean, check that out. Uh, now, hopefully, this has been all test fitted uh, once before it went off for paint. So hopefully, uh, I've got my head torch on just in case I need it. Now, the thing to do is to get one in uh, just loosely so that if you do, you know, let go inadvertently, it can't fall on the floor. So just put that in just loose and then give it a yank. Right, that is on. Uh, so, I, I'm going to have to use my head torch. I know it affects the filming, but sorry about that, but it needs must. There's that one. Again, just get these in loose. Don't do anything up tight. Get all four bolts in and then snug it down. There we go. Uh, let's do that one. that one that's it what I normally do is do the bottom ones up first well I'll be this is the fairing off the uh, thousand that I did, you know, under the 5.4 banner, uh, which is no more, sadly. Um, so I've modified it to fit this. It's a beautiful fairing. I'm very proud of these fairings. It suits this as well as it suited the 1,000. It's almost like it was tailor-made for this bike. It fits beautifully around the Speedo. Just gradually snug them down. Don't need to go too mad. But obviously also there's a badge to go in here, uh, which Matt is putting his uh, company name in there. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, my name is on the seat and Jordan's is on the seat. Um, so I think he's got a little aluminium one I done. I don't know, haven't seen it. Uh, but that's going to have to go in, hopefully, when he returns the seat with the uh, dabs of paint on it. Uh, and I hope the seat fits. I haven't had a trial fitting. If it doesn't fit because all uh, oh, the foam's different at the front, we're going to be in a world of trouble. But anyway, I've got distracted. There we go. Check that out. That's the paintwork on and fitted. I think this bike is starting to look drop dead gorgeous. All I need to do now is fit the chain and fill this hole with the beautiful leather seat. Right, it's another day, another dollar. Um, uh, and this is the final bit here going on the bike. I've got Harry to frame out what I'm about to do at the moment. Uh, now I went to Arnie's, collected the paintwork, was absolutely gobsmacked by the paintwork and I've now got that on. And the reason I've got that on and not finished the bike is because when I was at Arnie's, um, Matt and his uh, mates turned up 
uh, and took the seat off me. I collected it on the way up to Arnie's. I had it in my hands for ooh, an hour and a half and woof, then it's gone uh, because they are, uh, have painted paint splashes to go with the runny paint on the bike. Uh, they've put those on the seat and check this out. Here it is. Now, Ed's done a belter covering it. I really didn't want to give it to them uh, to paint just because I wanted to get it on the bike. I was so excited. But look, that paint splash effect, I think it's fantastic. And I'll be totally honest, uh, I'd never have thought of doing that. And, you know, with this job, um, people say I'm a bit of a control freak with my bikes. I don't like people interfering and getting involved. Um, but it's been an absolute pleasure uh, working with Matt because um, very early on in the design, um, I knew I wanted a sort of paint run effect because this bike's so crazy, like the paints run before it's dry because it's so fast, that kind of vibe. And um, uh, I turned it over to him. I let him pick the colors. Uh, he's picked uh, how the splodges are done and everything. I did a very quick cartoon drawing for him when he was here I was to explain what I wanted. Well, not what I wanted, but what I thought would suit it. And I did that. I drew these kind of paint runs in literally 10 seconds. I said, that kind of effect. Well, he's done a belter. I mean, and Arnie has. I mean, check that out. Uh, check this out. Now, let's see if my foam styling bit that I gave to Ed uh, for how I wanted this seat to be modified, it's been cut down. It's got the back raised. I'll call these a gunfighter seat because that's what they call them on Harleys. <laughs> I hope it fits. You know, this is the first time this has been on here with it recovered. Oh, hang on. Hurrah, this bike, uh, can I tell you, I just melt when I look at it. It's everything I wanted it to be. That is the vision I had right from the beginning when Honda dropped this little bike off and it was red. That's the look I wanted. I absolutely love it. And um, uh, I think, well, I'm gobsmacked as you can tell. That doesn't often happen to me. And it's so rewarding when a bike comes together like this I don't think there's anything I want to change on that. It is outrageous uh, and it is cool. So look, thanks very much for, much for watching. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, and like and subscribe on the uh, channel because it all really helps.